Streamlining an aircraft like this helps reduce the drag, but, um, you know, shape isn't everything. Shiny, isn't it? What do you reckon that is? Make it look nice? Get the ground crew something to do? Do you remember our diagram? Zero lift drag subdivides into form drag, which we've seen, and surface friction drag. The amount of drag is fixed mainly by shape, but it also varies with the type of surface. A rough surface raises the amount of drag, a smooth surface reduces it. Drag due to surface roughness is called surface friction drag. You can feel it up to a point. For instance, it's easier to rub your hand along this polished surface than it is to rub it on that concrete down there. But even a surface as smooth as this will slow the airflow. If you think of the air traveling in layers, the surface or skin of the aircraft slows up those layers in contact with it as surely as if you were dragging a sheet of paper over glue. The closest layers of air are slowest. They drag the ones above until we reach a layer which is unaffected. If we section off the unaffected from the affected layers, we'd have a boundary. So all those affected are called the boundary layer. Imagine the layers of air to be like cards in a pack. They slide on each other. But if you throw them across the rough surface of a billiard table, those in direct contact slow down the others until you reach layers that were only sliding on other cards and so travelled quite freely and faster. The cards thrown on a polished surface don't spread nearly as far. They're not slowed so much by surface friction. So we can reduce form drag by streamlining the shape of the aircraft and surface friction drag by smoothing and polishing the surface. But both these, in other words zero lift drag, will increase with speed. That's why a rocket needs to have a streamlined, polished nose when it's travelling through the atmosphere. Once there's no air, there's no drag. A lunar module can travel at great speed without streamlining. So we want